<gasps> Look at that fish right there. It's a big bass, big bass. He just literally swam. Where was he at? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid not to make a flip in this or cast. This is gonna be this is, this is gonna be next level stuff if I get a bite here. <gasps> I randomly just see a four pounder just go. Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, like the video, and comment below if you guys have been enjoying the content. But guess what? We are gonna be fishing jigs in top water, baby. We're gonna be searching for those big, giant bass, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's been a minute since I filmed a big bass video, so today we're gonna be searching for the giants, catching the biggins, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So these are actually, oh, hold up, hold up. I literally almost forgot about something, so I'm gonna roll a clip right now. see that clip that is our 200 000 subscriber giveaway i cannot thank you guys enough guys i've worked my butt off for this and i'm so thankful and blessed to have each and every single one of you guys a part of the team kicking their bass tv nation you know it's been eight long hard years of beating my head against the wall and it's finally turning out and i'm getting a little bit of results achieving some of my goals i've had for years and i cannot thank you guys enough so we're going to be giving away all that tackle I actually just have a video of it right now he actually ended up shipping me the package and i actually believe that my neighbor right here has it but he's at work right now so maybe in like next video or the video after that i'll get an up close shot of all the products that i'm going to be giving away to you guys if you guys are wondering how you entered this giveaway be subscribed to the channel hit the notification bell like the video and that is it that's all you got to do. Also, if you guys would like, you can go leave a comment below. Let me know what content you guys want to see because I want to post what you guys like. And also, if you guys are wondering about the rod giveaway, that is going to be announced the winner this upcoming week sometime. I haven't decided what day, but we're going to be announcing that. And for all the people that are like, oh, no, I don't have Instagram. I'll end up posting it on Instagram and YouTube, so you guys don't have to worry about that. You know, I would like you guys to follow my Instagram. I'll pop it up on the screen right now, but let's go ahead and get this video started. Here are the two baits we're going to be starting with today the first one that i'm going to start off and give a shot is this little topwater frog right here and this is actually marketed as a shad but as you guys can tell it's pretty much a hollow body frog there's not too much of a difference except the two tails are split and they're straight aligned right there in the back it's got a little poppy mouth similar to a popping frog and let me get the exact name on this it is a bronze eye spit shad 60. For you guys that are curious about that it's a little natural color got some you know chartreuse near the eyes it's got some red down the middle and it's got that little like beehive looking pattern on top and it's a good little hollow body shad slash frog if you guys are wondering about my second bait right here i got this little hybrid jig by six cents if you guys want to check out these guys you can go in the description box below they're actually the ones who sent out all the products for the giveaway i cannot thank them enough man they've been helping me out a lot sending me some awesome stuff as you guys can tell in here and i've really been liking their stuff lately and so if you guys want to check them out and get 10 percent off i have a link in the description box below if you guys are curious but we're going to rig these two up on the rods and then we're going to be searching for them giant bass let's get it Just made it out to this beautiful pond. One thing I would like to say is that there was actually a full moon last night that, and that can really affect the fish, you know. Usually early in the morning you get a decent bite and then it's usually not good until the afternoon. I'm at that weird hour right now where it's around 9 to 10 o'clock. I've been traveling all this morning. It might affect the bite, I don't know, but who knows, we might get on. The conditions look great if you guys are wondering. It's uh, very cloudy, it's overcast out right now. You know, I can see a bunch of showers in the distance and the pressure is slightly low. So um, that should be a good thing. I'm just worried about the full moon, but we're gonna see what happens. Let's go ahead and get out there. We're gonna start off with the frog, see if we can get some top water action. Let's get started. All right, boys, here's both my combos, as you guys can tell. A little spit and shad, and then the six cents hybrid jig in black and blue. It's gonna be sauce for this water clarity. 
Um, let's see what we can get started. We're gonna start off with the top water. That's what I usually do, start off with my moving bait. Oh man, this thing's gonna walk. Amazing, I can tell you that, look at that in the water. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, it walks perfectly back and forth. It gives it a little bit of pop as well. Like I said, it's not as subtle as a normal frog, but it gives it that little pop in action. Right when you twitch it, it kind of does like a little boom, and it gives that little pop. Got that little translucent color. Got a little bit of sun peeking through the clouds right now. That'd be pretty cool with that bait being, you know, semi-translucent. See what this thing does. After a full moon throwing a frog, Noah, what are you thinking? That's perfect. Shade line under some limbs. I know we're pushing it with the frog today after a full moon. We're actually pushing it with the jig too. Like this is a big profile bait, man. I mean, like I said, I want I always fish for big bass. I don't go for anything less. So eh, I'm a little iffy on it. If I had to throw anything that's finesse today, it would probably be a little worm, but you know, we want to go bigger, go home. Even if we only get a few catches, just catch the biggest bass that we can. Oh, I heard some eat, eat top water in this corner. I still hear it going on. I don't know where that was at. Oh, I, that is like beyond perfect. I got him. He ain't big, but I got him on the freaking top water. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, he's giving me a dance. Oh, that was amazing. Couldn't have ate it better. Right there in the top of his mouth. Beautiful one pound bass. Nothing big, man. That's not what we're looking for today. The fact that we got it on this. Look at that. It's literally perfectly in his nostrils. Got smell good, Jimbo. Do you like the walking shad? To catch a fish on a topwater, I really don't care the size. That is awesome. And more importantly, this is the first fish today. So it really doesn't matter the size. We just needed the monkey off her back. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Beautiful little guy. He's thick, you know, healthy. Oh, he's ready. Let me tell you, look how lethargic he is swimming off. That's another indicator that I really pay attention to on days like today after a full moon is how lethargic these fish are. And I pay attention to when I release them as well. That fish was very lethargic. We only had them out for 45 seconds. So, all right, let's get back in there. There we go. Stupid not to make a flip in this or a cast. This is gonna be, this is, this is gonna be next level stuff I get to buy here. Dude, he's a big one. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Are you serious? Solid two, two and a quarter? We'd be lucky if he was two and a half. I don't know if he's that much, but are you kidding me? It's hard to tell on the GoPro, guys. Things look differently on the GoPro. Like, fish look smaller. It's just facts. I know it sounds weird, but I'm not using that as an example right now. Right here probably looks a little more open than you think it does. That is a tight place. And let me say, I just called that shot and pulled this beautiful bass on a frog. That was amazing. I mean amazing. And look at that guy. Solid two to two and a half pounds. He's somewhere in that range, I guarantee it. I actually don't know where my scale is and I should have brought it out, but you know, we don't need to weigh him. But let's get him back in the water. That was the best bite. I don't even know if we're gonna get one better than that because that was, like I said, it was gonna be legendary. And it was, baby. Let's lay him flat. Get him in the water right here. There he goes. Look at that beast. Let's go. That's not a giant by any means, but that is still a big bass and a quality one. Let's get back in here. I want you guys to pay attention at what I did. This spot is a little bit different. So I had to kind of stand back and cast in. But my point is, is that when you see a spot like this, there's a little tree down, bunch of shade line. You don't want to go walk up on it because what's going to happen is if you walk up on it, you're going to spook a fish. If I would have walked up on that and tried to flip under that tree, he would have been gone. Just facts. I couldn't have even done that just of how this place is super tight. I had to make a little cast like this in there between the trees. Oop, now my braid messes up, but you get my point. Don't walk up on the spots, stay off of them on stuff like this. 
Let's see if we can get another cast. This little skipperoo up in there. That was a little rough skipperoo, but. So listen to me for a minute. Open spot down there, open spot down there, little canal that comes right through. And you know, the middle of it has a slight drop off. It's gonna be similar to like a little creek channel on a lake or whatever. And this fish will stage off in that, duck down in that. And there's a bend right here, boom. So you got the little canal, takes off to the right, it's a bend, drop off. Fish should stack there, exactly where I just casted. What's up brother, how you doing? Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. It is hot. I really appreciate that. What's your name, man? Wes. Noah. Noah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. For sure. Hopefully, I'll see you out. We can go fishing someday. All right, brother. God, that should be a fish right there. Yep. Big one. No, he ain't that big. What the heck? You look huge. You look like almost four pounds. Where are the biggins at? Man, he seemed big. The way he ate it and everything. I swore it was a four pounder. That's so weird. I swore I saw his tail flop. Look at that. Third fish on the freaking frog. Such a plot twist, man. Going into this day, fishing big jigs and frogs and to catch all of them on a frog. It's just so weird. Beautiful little thick bass, just about a pound, nothing much. So we have two fish that are about a pound and one that was, you know, two to two and a half max. But that's a pretty little guy right there. About a pound and a quarter. There he goes. That should be mon money. Give me five pops. One. He already ate it. Ooh. He ate it on the first pop. Never mind. Don't give me five pop. Give me one pop, boy. Two pop. There's a turtle chasing my frog. Is that what bit me? It might have been what bit me, matter of fact. That was definitely a turtle. I guess we'll see. Nope. Big one. Big one. He ain't a turtle. He's reeling him right in. Oh, he has a choke, too. He tackled it. Oh, my gosh. That's a big one. Let's go. That's about two and three quarters right there. Oh, and he choked it. Look at that. Choked it. Yeah, that's hefty fish right there. Thick body, not super fat, but thick. That's about two and a half, two and three quarters. I promise you he'd weigh. Yeah, he's in between. I say, yeah, he's in between that two and a half to two and three quarter range. That's a good fish, man. I guess it wasn't a turtle. It was a bass after all. He's our biggest guy today. Beautiful. Oh man, that's awesome. That just kills you right there. All the shade lines that we're fishing and that's where they're eating it, man. I just can't believe we're whacking them on a frog that's good in the middle of the day in the summer after a full moon. This isn't a giant, but this is a big bass. Let me tell you, that's, that's a great fish. I know when the GoPro looks at it, it looks like freaking two ounces. I know how it works. I'm gonna edit the footage later and I'm gonna be like, wow. There he goes. Boom, that was the best bite all day. He actually destroyed it. I haven't had any hit it like that. His whole body came out of the water for that thing. <gasps> Look at that fish right there. It's a big bass, big bass. He just literally swam. Where was he at? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Boom! Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, he freaking ate it. He freaking ate it and I lost him somehow. I had him pinned. That was like a freaking four pounder. And look at the knot in my line. Let's look at what just happened. I'm standing here, okay? Six inches of water. You guys can, I mean, look, you guys can see every little bit and piece. I randomly just see a four pounder just go. And then I just start reeling up to him. Like, ah, oh, he's not gonna eat it. He's already seen me, he's spooked. And I went, pop. He puts his little nose up to it. And I go pop and he goes Poof. Zip. I have him for a minute. It came off, man. Andy nodded up my line. I think that's when I have to close it off today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in it. So I swear to you that's it. I'll be leaving in it. Said. Wasn't getting what I said. Leave your messages on red. Yeah. It's done my way. I told you to stop it, but you keep on
sabe. 